Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge where as you can see we are back in George and Victoria's apartment and there's a new person. Hello, what's your name? Your name is Nanola. Nanola Garcia. Um, and the reason that she is here is because she is in love with George and they are about to... Hang on. Oh, let's... Yes, hang on. Let's ask to be boyfriend first, because <laughs> I may have done this by cheating. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Yes, he does. Good. And then we're gonna do... Hang on, did that just say first kiss? Yes, let's do first kiss. They're having their first kiss. Hang on, let me actually get a shot of that as well. This is the most romantic place you could have chosen, you guys. I love it. Brilliant. Uh, okay, well, you guys are now... Proper boyfriend and girlfriend. George, wait, I need you to try for a baby. Let's have a look. Try for a baby. Let's do it because, as you may recall, the reason we're here is that. Uh, no, 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 don't do it in there. This is your bed. I hope you've claimed that bed so that you won't do it in that bed. Because that'd be really awkward. Oh, Christ, you're doing it in Veronica's bed. Not Veronica, Victoria. Oh, I'm so sorry. I should have specified which bed. Anyway, the reason that I'm here doing this um, is that Bridget still has the aspiration to have four grandchildren, so I'm just hoping that this is gonna result in a grandchild, and when it does, we'll have completed that aspiration for Bridget. Okay, you guys seem to be done. Let's have you take a pregnancy test, just to be sure, and then you might need to reclaim that. No, you don't, okay. I'm so sorry, you guys are <laughs> hugging, cute. Are you pregnant? You are pregnant, okay, cool. I'm gonna buy you guys a bassinet as well, just to have that whole thing sorted and to make sure uh, you don't... Uh... Oh no, it's with double S, isn't it? Bassinet, yeah. Um, there we go. Just to make sure you guys don't put the baby in Victoria's room, I'm gonna put the bassinet in there. Okay, cool. That is done. You guys are pregnant. I'm gonna head back to Bridget. Okay, so I went back to playing as Bridget and I was put here because Bridget has just gone here. Good. Where are we even? Uh, I have no idea where we are. Is this the... Oh, can we visit the art center actually? Because we have to... Um, yeah, just on our own. Because we have to do the viewing of art at a museum or something. So we can do that now. Okay, here we are. Bridget, let's have you view that, view that, and view that. Hopefully this counts. Oh, I just accidentally brought Rory over here as well. Well, good for you, Rory. Um, you're gonna be here for a little while now. Is this actually working? No. Why not? Is this not a museum? Apparently this is not a museum. Ugh. Well, then we're gonna have to travel again, my friend. Uh, I guess we can take Rory with us since he came anyway. All right, we are at the museum. Uh, do they even have any paintings here? Does this count? I'm gonna view that, see if that counts. Because they don't seem to have any actual, like, paintings that someone has painted in this museum. Let's see if this counts. Oh, that seems to have counted. Okay, let's view these three. You done viewing? Very long view. Yep, this definitely counts. Okay, stop viewing. There we go. Cool. Bridget, we're gonna go home. Okay, we're back. Um, only problem is that these guys have slightly glitched out because it says that they're still at the daycare, but they are not still at the daycare. Um, I'm gonna need you to hire a repair service. Um, and I'm just gonna be right back and see if I can sort out this glitch. Okay, we're back in the game and these guys seem to be doing just fine. Cool. Um, Bridget, how about you clean out the spoiled food? And then cook something. Let's have you make blackened bass. Because why not? Why are you sad? Ah, because of the dollhouse. But apart from that, everyone seems pretty good. These guys are getting a little bit hungry, but we're making food, so that's cool. Uh, how are you doing skill-wise now? Ooh, you're level 8. Okay. Um, hanging out doesn't do anything for you, I don't think. So let's just play as many times as possible. There we go. Toddlers are hanging out here, as always. You guys enjoy that. These guys are getting stinky, but that's fine. Oh, these guys are... Oh, right, because you walked past the stinky. I get you, I get you. Hello, repair service man. Please sort out our fridges. Okay, Bridget has made food. Let's grab a service. Service? Serving? 
maybe. Okay, and then all of the toddlers, yeah, you're gonna go grab food all on your own, good job. You can grab a serving. Uh, you're not really hungry, but you can grab a serving as well. You can grab a serving, and you can grab a serving, and you're playing, so you're fine. Eh, you can grab a serving as well. Just, let's just have everyone eat. Cool, there's one left for you when you're done with all of the playing. Uh, Bridget, I do still need you to eat. Continue eating. I know you're not hungry anymore, but you can finish your food. And then you can actually go upstairs and do some painting. Let's do an abstract painting. Because why not? You only have four more paintings to go, my friend. George is wondering if we can go hang out. No, I'm sorry. I know you have big news and everything, but we can't hang out, I'm afraid. Uh, actually, Bridget, before you go, can you change this here diaper? Change diaper. And then change this here diaper. Change diaper. I told you to do the thing, Bridget. Uh, actually, you guys do need a bath as well at some point, but... Let's sort out the diapers first. You can head off to bed. Uh, I just realized we don't have enough toddler beds, do we? We only have two toddler beds because of the fact that we have one extra kid. Right. Hmm. I should probably sort that out. Okay, there we go. We now have two toddler beds in this one room. It's fine. Okay, you're just changing some stinky diapers. Cool. Then you can go do an abstract painting. How are the babies doing? You're sleepy. Yeah, definitely go to sleep. Mm, you're sleepy. Go to sleep. You're sleepy. And you can also go to sleep. Off you pop. Why are you holding the baby? Let a baby go. All right, it is 9 p.m. Are you guys tired you are getting tired you need to do your homework you need to do your homework oh that's cake you need to do your homework you need to do your homework cool you guys go and do that and then afterwards we can head off to bed everyone should be about to do their homework you're eating first but that's fine bridget is doing painting awesome how are our plants doing it's doing all right they're coming up we only have six more dragon fruits that we need to grab to have replaced all of our things with dragon fruits. That is awesome. Beatrice has finished her homework. Good for you, Beatrice. Off to bed you go. Wilbert has finished his homework. Okay, so everyone's getting there. Why? What are you? What is your problem? Oh, you. Why are you doing your homework there? You idiot. Achievement. Refined palette or something. Oh, you've reached level 10, 10 of the painting skill. Good for you. Uh, no, don't go to sleep in Bridget's bed. Go to sleep there. Every one of you guys are going to bed as well. Cool. Then it's only Bridget who is awake. Sell that, please, because you're doing pretty well right now. And then I'll have you do another confident painting. We only need to do three more paintings, which is great. Why are you up? You had a nightmare. Go back to bed. Take a nap. Oh, why are you up? You're tense. Oh, should you not go to bed, maybe? Yeah, sleep. Do it. There we go. Off to bed, everyone. Beatrice has discovered something under her bed. Then how about, no, that's not your bed. That's your bed. Just take a nap. Same with you, I assume. Yeah, just take a nap. There we go. Sell that to a collector, Bridget. Good job. I also have realized that we should probably be doing small paintings uh, just to get this thing out of the way. Why are you guys up here? I told you to just take a nap. Take a nap. You too. Don't talk to Bridget about it. She can't help. Oh, are you doing the same thing now? No, you're going to bed. Okay. And now you're sad for some reason. Go to sleep. Just leave Bridget alone, you guys. She doesn't have that much time to herself every day. She needs the time she can get. Okay, there we go. You've finished that as well. Good job, Bridget. Go pee and then sell this. And then you have one more painting to do. Uh, you guys are up again. Take another nap. You're up as well. I would recommend you go pee. And then take another nap. Um, oop, do a confident painting, please. I just moved that in there for some reason. Why not? Why are you up again? You had another nightmare? Well, have another nap. That is my solution to every single problem ever. Oh, Bridget, you did it. Good job. Let's sell that to a collector. Now you just have to do five masterpieces. Fucking hell, that's gonna take a while. Well, you do have quite a lot of stuff, so let's see. Uh, reward points. We could just get Steel Bladder now, but I think we might um, save up for Seldom Sleeper uh, because that is what we're struggling with at the moment is Bridget's sleepiness. Okay, well, you're up, so how about you go have some food? You guys might as well get up as well. You really need to pee, so go do that and then maybe have some food. 
Uh, don't have cake. Have a quick meal or something. Have a quick meal of cereal. Uh, you can get up, you can go take a shower, and then have a quick meal of cereal. Uh, you can get up, go upstairs to pee, and then have a quick meal of cereal. Cool. You guys just get ready for school. I do like it when they have breakfast here. I think that's kind of cute. I will <laughs> remove this so that no one gets bad moodlets from it. You guys don't look very happy. <laughs> you look very happy. These guys look a little bit more sad. Ah, there's more stinky stuff over here and that's why you guys are so sad. A lot of stinky everywhere. School starts in an hour. Everyone should be good. You need to pee. Uh, go use the toilet. You're good. You're good. You really need to pee. Why are you still in bed? Go pee. I think I told you to do that ages ago. And then the shower is broken as well. Let's replace that just for now because you really need to take a shower too. You're also hungry, but that's fine. Okay, let's open this up. See what kind of food we have. Open. Two left over that, four of the hamburger cake, four of that. Okay, let's get this out. Then have you uh, grab a serving. You grab a serving and you grab a serving. Uh, when you wake up, Bridget, we need once again um, a repair service. And then you can go grab the last meal of that. All of you guys should be on your way to school. School, school, school. You're going to sleep again. Don't do that. You're going to be really hungry when you come back. Everyone, study hard, please. Get them A's. All of these toddlers are pretty stinky as well. So that is our mission for today, is to give Bob and Beth a bath. First, Bridget needs to eat, and we need to hire a repair service. Let's go to the city and take in a show. No, George, we're taking care of toddlers. Oh, our gardener is here. Oh, friend's birthday. Yeah, let it go. Hello, gardener. You're just kind of hanging out. Good for you. Okay, Bridget, it is time to give some baths. Let's give a bubble bath to Beth first. What is Beth doing? Oh, she's over here. Okay, you guys are going to give a bath. Awesome. Why are you sad anyway? Because of fun. Yeah, go out and play there. That is exactly what I was going to ask you to do. Your issue is also fun, but mostly hygiene. So why, 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 why? You were just about to do it. Please give her a bubble bath. You guys are all done. Cool. Thank you. There we go. You're in the bath. You guys are going out to play out here. Cool. You have fun with that. I love that all of my kids get really good communication and movement skills because there are so many of them that they all talk to each other and therefore get good communication skill and then they all run around the house and play on this thing so their movement skill is also really high. Uh, okay. Bob, you are waiting for a bath. Cool. Um, you can go and crawl through that as well. Bridget, I told you to give a bubble bath to Bob. How many times? Bob. Come on, Bridget, come on, work with me here. There we go, another bath, and you definitely don't need a bath. Ah, we can give you a bath as well, why not? Bridget is feeling pretty, right, so. Once you're done with that, Bob, I would like you to go have some more fun. No, my tunnel, get out, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Okay, Marie, you're just being annoying. Just go have some bathing time. And now she doesn't want to? Now she doesn't want to. Well, you know what? You're getting a bath anyway, so shut up. I thought I told you to, yeah, go play. Go crawl through. There we go. Last bath happening. Eh, shall we do some painting after that, maybe? Have Bridget go and cloud gaze a little bit. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Cloud gaze, cool. And then, oh, actually wait, Bridget. Before you go cloud gaze, repair that. Then you can cloud case. Oh, he didn't repair the toilet. What a knob. There we go. Marie, go play dolls. Just for a tiny little second there, Bridget. No, I need you to cloud gaze. Feeling tense. But, okay, you've at least got, yeah, there we go, inspired. Good and also tense. <laughs> Good. Can you take a bubble bath too? Does that get your fun up? Andy is a B student. And so are you. Awesome. Uh, everyone is feeling pretty tense though. We need some fun in here. Uh, good thing for you, Andy. You get to not hang out, but play 
all day. You guys can go do whatever you want for a little while. And then before bed, we do need to remember that you have, you know, stuff to do. Okay, that bubble bath is not doing anything for your fun, my friend. How about you do a surrealism painting? Actually, let's do small ones. That doesn't take as much time. Small paintings, please. Make them masterpieces. What's your problem? Ah, sleepiness. Yeah, definitely go to bed. Uh, you guys might as well go to bed too. Just for a little while. Have an afternoon nap. You're asleep. How about you do something fun instead? You're also on your way to bed. How about you do something fun instead? You're doing fun. You have already done fun. Okay, once you've finished with your shower, you can do your homework. Okay, you've done a thing. It was not a masterpiece. Too bad. Go pee. Then watch some TV. Watch the cooking channel or something. Okay, so the toddlers are in bed. We don't need to worry about them. You're playing on the monkey bars. How are we doing skill-wise? You're all getting really close to level 10. That's so good. That is awesome. We actually have to keep an eye on that so that you don't reach level 10 before we have Bridget's... Um, Aspiration set for the right thing. Okay, that should make your fun go up. Maybe you get a little bit inspired as well from the cooking channel. I don't actually know. Beatrice has completed her homework. Good for you, my friend. Uh, why are you... Where? What are you doing? Oh, you're still playing over here. Um, can you do your homework? Yeah, I would like you to do your homework. I'd like you to do your homework. You're off to sleep. That's fine. No, we don't want to join any clubs. Okay, your fun is back up, my friend. Time to do a uh, small classic painting. Would like it if you were inspired instead of just confident, but okay. And you're just doing your homework there. Oh, and you're sad. Okay, you had a nightmare, go to sleep. I don't care. Uh, once you're done with this, my friend, you can use the toilet and then do your homework. Oh, you're getting really close to level 10. That's so good. Okay, look at how close he is to level 10. That is amazing. So basically next time we send him on the monkey bars, he should be able to reach level 10. Let's keep that in mind for when we do send him. Why are you so sad? I don't care. Take a nap. You're feeling flirty now. Don't feel flirty. Sell that to collector Bridget. Well, you know what? You can go to bed. And I've also changed her aspiration. Bogart has completed his homework. Good for you. Now all that is left is Andy, I think see you've done your homework yeah you've not started you've done it you're 75 percent done but you're doing it now so that's cool okay yeah rory has done his homework can we do extra credit yet we can you do extra credit why are you not doing your homework ah oh, you're too uncomfortable fair uh stop that take a shower uh get some leftovers not cake you idiot uh you can clean out the spoiled food as well oh we only have cake okay then you can have a quick meal of cereal. And that's it, really. Bridget's sleeping. Once you're done with that, Bridget, you really need to cook something. Cook some tuna casserole. You're sad again. Okay, can you please just sleep? Take a nap. You're hungry too. Well, take a nap first. All right, Bridget, up you get. You'll get more sleep tonight, I promise. But we do need food. Why are you? No, I told you to make food. This is not what I asked you to do. Make some tuna casserole, please. Off you pop. Tuna casserole. I know the kids are a little bit in the way. Uh, you. Pretty much told you to go to sleep. How are you doing now? You're doing pretty well. Do your homework. Beatrice has completed her extra credit. Good for you. Let's see if we can get Andy to do his extra credit as well. That would be amazing. Okay, you really need to pee. Uh, oh. Do we not have any working toilets? we go go pee and then you can eat once Bridget has made food there we go Bridget has made some food uh, I would like you to actually have a quick meal instead of whatever you just made have a quick meal of cereal and then you can head off to bed again how are we doing here pretty good uh, can we have you take a shower and then just go to bed uh, you're doing your homework you should be going to bed you should be eating. Uh, hang on, where are you actually? There you are. Let me reset you for a second. Reset you. There we go. Grab a serving. And then go to bed. You're angry because you're starving, so go eat. And then you can go to bed. That is all sorted out. Bridget is off to bed as well. I mean, it is 11 o'clock, so that does make sense. Andy has completed his homework. Good for you, Andy. Now, 
Do extra credit. I'm so sorry. You really are the one child that we're concentrating on right now. I apologize. And once you're done with that, I need you to go to sleep in your bed. There we go, my friend. Off to bed. That's not your bed. That's your bed. There we go. Good night. Sleep tight. Andy can now play something on the computer. Good for you. You're almost done with extra credit. There we go. Cool. Very well done, my friend. It's 1am. You have to get up soon, but go to bed anyway. Now you're up. Don't wake up the kids. Stop it. You're really hungry. Okay, that's fine. Because we have food right here. Actually, let's have you eat this. Eat that. And you woke her up because of course you did. Nope, I want you to keep sleeping. I know you want the cake, but don't eat it. And you're starving as well. Okay, cool. Open you up. Have you grab a serving of that? I know you're hungry. Just go eat. And then afterwards, you can just go to sleep again because it is in the middle of the night and I don't really want you to be up. Come on, Marie. Hurry up eating. Everyone else is in bed. It's just you. How's Bridget doing? She's doing pretty good. She's actually getting a full night's sleep. And we haven't needed to use the moonlit solver yet. It's amazing. Okay, it's 6am and everyone is getting out of the bed at the same time, which is fine. Um, Andy, you get up as well. Get some leftovers and then I need you to play on the monkey bars. You need to eat something. You can go eat something. You can do whatever you want, really. Bridget is still sleeping. She doesn't need to though. So how about you get up and then cook some more food for us. Let's make some vegetable chili. Go for it. And all the kids are sleeping. No, sleeping? What? No, that's not true. What are you doing? No, I definitely told you to eat food first and don't eat the cake, you weirdo. Have some cereal or something. I'm gonna throw this cake out. Okay. Andy is eating. Cool. I do still need you to play on the monkey bars a little bit before school though. School starts in an hour. Okay. Andy, stop eating. Go play. Why are you uncomfortable? Hmm. Because of something about the environment in this room. Good. Andy's off to play. He should be able to get his skill all the way up in an hour. And we are on the right aspiration with Bridget. Yes, we are. Cool. Toddlers are up. But they should be pretty good mood wise. Yeah. They're doing pretty well. Cool. Full control. Bridget is eating. We'll put that in the fridge. You need to pee afterwards. Oh, look at this skill. Hang on. Let me have a look at this. Hello. You look a little bit weird. Oh. Hang on, I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna picture of that too. There you go. It's just hanging out. Oh. Now he went on top. Okay. Whoop! Oh, Christ. Did you fall over? No, you're good. Skill is going up though. I might just let him get it sorted out <laughs> before school. Everyone's playing outside. You guys should be on your way to school now. Yeah, you're on your way, you're on your way. You're on your way. You're sad because of something. You're lonely. Well, Andy has mastered the moto skill. Good. Go to school. That should mean that you got this as well. Yes. Cool. We're so close to getting um, the seldom sleepy thing as well. We need to help a child with homework when they get back. That we can do. Rory's off to school. I think I definitely told you to stop that. Okay, you guys are stinky. No, you're just stinky. Uh, so when you're done with that, Bridget. Ooh, don't go away. I need you to give a bubble bath. Because you're doing fine, right? Yeah, you're fine. And you're still sleeping. You're quite stinky as well, though, so you definitely need a bath. You're on your way to school. Is everyone studying hard? Study hard. Study hard. It's almost someone's birthday. Hang on. It's almost Bob's birthday. Is it? It's not Marie's birthday. Oh, okay. They have the same birthday. Oh, Bob, you're a bit hungry as well. So once you've um, once you've had your bath, you should eat something. Let's grab that out and have you eat some of that. Uh, and you can get up and eat right away. How are you doing for food? Eh, you're doing alright. Uh, how about you grab a serving of that too? While we have the food out anyway. Gardener is just taking care of the garden. Good. We'll actually have Bridget. You're feeling inspired right now, Bridget. That is great. Let's go upstairs and do a painting. Let's do a small abstract painting and we'll swap. Nope. Wrong button. We'll swap back to our painter thing and see if you can complete five masterpieces. Bob, are you? No, no, no. Don't have a quick meal. Grab that instead. 
It will fill you up so much more. How are you stinky again? Oh, I didn't actually shower you. I showered you, didn't I? Yeah, you guys both need baths. Let's start with you, because you're actually crying about the fact that you need a bath. Let's give a bubble bath to you once Bridget is done with this painting. I have a feeling it's not going to be a masterpiece because she's no longer inspired. Oh, no, she did. Never mind. Good. Well done. Let's give Beth a bath. And let's give Marie a bubble bath as well. Let's have you not do that. Off we go. Picking up Marie. Cool. How are we doing mood-wise? Everyone's doing pretty good. You need to pee, but you can't pee on your own, so... Okay. When you're done with that, I would like you to potty train Bob if you can. Uh, and then we'll take a shower for ourselves. Okay. Bob, please, let me potty train you, because you need to pee. Beth can now walk faster. Good for you, Beth. Stop that right now. You have so many things to play with. Go play. Bob acquired the potty skill. Good for him. He's just gonna sit there for ages, but <laughs> that's fine. Beatrice is a B student. Rory is a B student. Wilbert is a B student. Okay, everyone's a B student right now. That's great. That is really great, you guys. Let's have everyone go and watch a bit of TV because you're all quite tense. Uh, you're quite tired, so yeah. How about you have a nap? That's perfectly all right by me. You need to grab a quick meal, uh, have cereal, and then watch some TV while you're doing so. And you need to just watch some TV. Bridget is off to take a shower, which is awesome. And then once you've done that, uh, it's almost Marie's birthday. Whew. Time flies, doesn't it? Uh, what should you do after this, Bridget? Well, I guess you can um, harvest some of these guys. Sell everything. Whew, that's a lot of money. Yep, let's sell that. See, as soon as we have the dragon fruit going, money really isn't a problem for us anymore. <laughs> Fucking hell, look at all this money. Christ. Well, we won't struggle with the bills for a while. Bridget needs some fun as well, so I'm gonna have her watch the current channel too. Okay, you've had a nap, so you can do your homework when you're done. You can do your homework when you're done. You can ooh, do your homework when you're done. And you can do your homework when you're done. You're a bit stinky as well. Uh, you guys are getting ready for a nap. So go to sleep, go to sleep. And go to sleep, please. It's like the perfect timing that these guys need a nap right after these guys come back from school, because then we can concentrate on them a little bit. Um, oh, uh, shit, I completely forgot. We have to um, we have to help a child with homework, don't we? How do we do that? Let's see. Are you doing your homework? Yes, you are. Let's see. Bridget, can you help with the homework, please? Help with homework. Yes. Oh, you, okay, that, that was really quick. Stop helping with the homework and then do it again. Uh, help with homework. Uh. I'm kind of cheating this. Okay, good. Stop helping with the homework. Good job. And help with homework. Uh, Yay! Nice. We need to mentor our child and have a child or grandchild reach the top of a career. That's not gonna happen. But we do have the points that we need for... Sell them sleeper! Let's get it right now. Yay! Awesome. Bridget will now not need to sleep as much, which is... Brilliant. Okay, you did your homework, so now you can do extra credit. And Bridget, what can you do? You can stargaze, cloud gaze, you can go cloud gaze. Yeah, cloud gaze for a second. Well done. And then you can go up and sell your masterpiece. And then, yeah, sell the masterpiece. We need to swap back to this aspiration. And you can do another small abstract painting. Someone finished his homework, you did. Let's do extra credit. Oh, are you guys doing homework together on the bed? That's cute. And you've finished your homework, so extra credit. And you've finished your homework. Good for you. That means extra credit. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode here because I've been recording for five more minutes than I normally do for each of these episodes. Um, and yeah, I don't know. So much happens with these episodes that I just kind of get lost. Um, can you sell that, please? Or just... Okay, you just put the whole thing in your inventory. That's not what I wanted. I want you to sell it. No, we don't want to name it. Sell it. There we go. Sell it. And then you can start another confident painting, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, next episode, I think there's going to be quite a lot of aging up because it's almost some of the toddler's birthdays and um, these guys, um, Beatrice and Andy, are going to be um, getting A's hopefully soon. And yeah, I'm quite excited. I'm also really happy about the fact that money isn't a problem anymore. Thank God for the dragon fruit. I will see you guys in the next episode.